In June 2023, an amazing sculpture arrived in Nuneaton. It's called the Knife Angel. The statue, which stands 27 foot high, was made of 100,000 confiscated knives. It would occupy a prominent site in the very centre of the town for several weeks. Knife Angel was made by the artist Alfie Bradley to boost awareness of knife crime, something that seems to be an increasing issue for us all. Of knife crime and violence really in the UK. Most of the weapons arrive in tubes like this. As you can see that's a knife with um, quite a fair bit of blood on. These massive knives which are either made to scare, to scare people but um, yeah it's not the sort of knife you'd use to cut your food up. First Alfie had to clean the blood off many of the knives before blunting them and then welding them to a framework. Getting it safely in place took a good deal of effort. Whilst in Nuneaton, the statue attracted a great deal of interest from the public. It also prompted many activities in connection with knife crime, including guest speakers, children's workshops and public discussion about how to deal with the knife problem. I think it's harrowing to be fair. I, last, I, last, I saw it when it was first in Coventry, oh, yes, like so, years ago, yeah. for my daughter. Yeah, it's sad, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it's nice. Nice to have something in Nuneaton. Beautiful! It's just so it's solemn. Yeah. But I reckon it should be called the Angel of Death. Hi, my name's Steve Croshaw. I work for Warwickshire County Council. Uh, just mention a few words about knife crime uh, in the area of Warwickshire where I work. Knife crime actually is not a huge issue in Warwickshire. However, the fear of crime seems to be growing particularly amongst children and young people, which is why it's so important for us to engage with children and young people in a productive way and talk about measures that they can understand, such as negative peer pressures, negative influences, and other forms of behavior that make somebody pick up that knife. I have read and I've heard said that up to seven out of 10 young people who carry a knife end up having that blade used on them. It's a false sense of security. It's a false sense of protection. It doesn't work. Hello, my name is Ben Hudson. I work for Warwickshire County Council in Community Safety and I'm a Serious Violence Prevention Officer. Uh, our team has been doing a lot of work around different schools in the area, uh, delivering sessions on the Knife Angel, uh, provoking a discussion about knife crime. So uh, the case that I was involved in, um, it was about 12 years ago now, uh, I was in year 11 at my secondary school. Uh, I was walking to school um, with my friends as any other normal day uh, when we unfortunately came across um, an attack in, process, in progress. Um, the attacker was an 18 year old man um, and he was attacking a 14 year old girl in year nine. Um, I kind of stumbled across the scene and um, before I knew it, uh, I was kind of running across the road towards the action. Um, I rugby tackled the assailant uh, and struggled with him on the ground for some time. Um, I received a, a wound in the process uh, whilst trying to get the knife off him. Um, and eventually, thankfully, um, some, of the, some of the staff members who'd been on gate duty at the time came and uh, helped me restrain the attacker uh, and get the knife away. Um, it was quite a severe attack. The victim had been struck uh, 19 times in the face and neck uh, with an eight inch kitchen knife. Uh, the severity of the injuries was so extreme that they had to uh, land an air ambulance on the school field. Um, I'm really happy to say that you know the, the victim in question made a, a full recovery. 
After more than three weeks in Nuneaton's marketplace, it was time for the Knife Angel to move to its next destination in Litchfield, marked by a ceremony involving many of those who helped with the project, and others who take a major interest in the knife crime problem. Hopefully it will continue to raise awareness, spark discussions and help bring an end to knife crime. We had around 1,600 tags added to the fence and it's covering five different languages. We've had 1,400 secondary school pupils and over 1,600 primary school pupils have been involved with the sessions revolving around the Knife Angel, taking the message of the Knife Angel directly to them. Sometimes I could literally spend days tracing an image of your face with a gentle touch. I can lose myself talking to pictures of you for hours, wishing I could give you a hug because you meant so much. I've still got some of your clothes. And when I hold them close, it feels like you're still there. At first though, your scent was everywhere, but just lately it seems that I can't find it anywhere. I've laid on your bed. I've cried into your pillow. I've wondered if you're standing behind me in the mirror. I'm not sure how I'm holding on without you to hold on to. But now we can't hold each other, even if we wanted to. You are more than just a chapter in the book of my life. If only I could read your eyes just for one more time. Would I see your future and the life you would have built? Would there be tears and laughter just like we're in a film? Would I see you at the doorstep of your family home? Would I tell your children how much they've grown? I think we'd talk for hours about the career you chose until I'm pulled back into reality where time just froze. I know the family here miss me because I went to look for understanding and never really came back because I still haven't found it. I know they don't expect me to just readjust, but it's about more than just us, so justice is a must. My heart feels heavy like it's wrapped in a plaster cast. If anyone asked me about pain, I could show them the masterclass. Because I'd run barefoot on shards of glass to give my life for yours if I was given just half a chance. When you were taken, a part of me was taken. And there's an emptiness in my chest because my heart keeps on breaking. You're the center of the solar system. But I'm hoping you can still feel my love from that distance. I'm not coping, I miss you, and I'll never forget the last time I leaned over to kiss you, gave you a warm embrace, but your face was cold, I didn't think there'd be a day I couldn't take you home, I pushed people away, but I hate being alone, although it's true what they say, I couldn't make it on my own, it's like the train left for its destination with my whole world on board, and I got there on time, but they still closed the doors. I can see you through the window, but time seemed to just pause. I collapsed on the floor, feeling distraught. And I can picture it now, like I'm trapped in a painting. Does anybody know how much I'm actually aching? I have dreams you avoided that level of violence. Now I scream into a void of deafening silence. I might not do today. I might just run away. I might walk into the sea because grief comes in waves. I might remember the day when you gave me purpose. I might even pray that you'd drift to the surface. Because you exist in the very depths of my soul. Wish we could choose a different road to what our destiny chose. You're not a drop in the ocean. You're the ocean in a drop. And there's a bond between us that nobody could stop. You are the sun that casts away the shadows and kisses the horizon. You are the butterflies that flutter by, balancing on light beams. You are the snowflakes that fall gently from clouds and through the mist. You are the northern lights. You are the lunar eclipse. But most of all, your love and your legacy lives on. Just know we'll always celebrate the day you were born. And even though life won't be the same anymore, I know you'll be looking down from where the angels walk. Thank you to all of the victims out here today. All the victims, all the families.